Hello, 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 everybody. Listen, I'm trembling, I'm shaking, but I'm gonna talk to you. And I've got some pre-recorded stuff too, but I just wanted to get on here and speak. I'm so excited. You know, like, I'm gonna tell you how I got here. I'm gonna tell you how it all started. I'm gonna tell you my crazy story about how this is all a startup of an emotional support animal named Bello. And you're gonna meet him too. He, he is who has built Yorkies of Austin. And I sit here with joy before you. And I, I'm almost speechless, but y'all know that's impossible when it comes to me. So I'll be brief. Um, years ago, many, many years ago, I got mellow as a, um, I, I called myself, you know, helping my son with his business. And I was gonna show him how, you know, he was supposed to breed these little Yorkies because he was already breeding um, English Bulldogs or I think something like that. And so I said to him, you know, let's get these Yorkies. They're a little more friendly. They don't have the reputation that the other dogs do. So I went and I started seeing Mello because I was so convinced that, um, that he would want this this Yorkie that that I was going to get him. Turns out he did it. Um, and meanwhile, I had fallen in love with him, and he was the cutest little thing. I remember him riding home on my lap, just trembling and shaking. You know, um, well, Mello would then become my best friend, where he traveled with me, and and I didn't even know it at the time. Um, I had registered him for an emotional support animal and man, I tell you, he was, he was every bit of that and having him registered as that emotional support animal just changed my life in ways that I didn't, I didn't even realize it at the time. You ever have anything happen to you and you just, you don't even know what's happening. You just go with the flow and then you look back later and you're like, huh, I don't take that medication anymore. Huh? I feel better and I'm not as depressed or, or whatever the case may be. So moving forward for many years i i had mellow as an emotional support animal and then i did get him girlfriends i got him a couple girlfriends and he became a couple baby daddies you know and wow here we are yorkies of austin and i could spread the love and tell the story and and one of the things that i wanted to do was make sure that everybody had the opportunity to find other ways of healing without all of the prescriptions and all of the medications and and i'm not a doctor you know, so please don't say that I told you to get a dog and now you don't need to take your medication anymore. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that um, it, it it has been a healing process and Yorkies of Austin, specifically Mellow, has changed my life drastically. And I vowed that day forward that I would move to change other people's lives as well, um, you know, with, with having these puppies and raising these puppies and I would give them the best homes possible and that you know, that that's just my thing. So anyways, welcome to Yorkies of Austin. Here we are many years later. Um, don't take my word for it, but we're one of the best um, puppy entrepreneurs in the state of Texas. Uh, we have a trademarked name for Yorkies of Austin. We've got a press kit and a press release that we're hoping that we're going to get to add um, to this segment here. And, um, and just kind of tell you and show you the history and the making of Yorkies of Austin. I hope I didn't forget anything. There's a book. Oh, my goodness. So let me get off of here because I know y'all got things to do. And I could talk all day long. You know who I am. But if you don't, that's fine, too. I'm a licensed breeder of Frenchies and Yorkies. And I'm the CEO of Yorkies of Austin. And today I want to talk to you about one of the happiest days of my life. I remember these people coming to my house, okay, <laughs> with the truck and wood. And they built this shed from the ground up. And I remember people saying to me, are you crazy? And I thought, the doctor says so. But this is not going to keep me from fulfilling one of my dreams, okay? And if I've got to be like the women on Bruce's place, we <laughs> still gonna feel this. So you guys, you have to see the work in progress and you have to see the finished project because we built this house. It was supposed to be shed. And it's a Yorkie house. It's 
it's a tiny house, and uh, nobody could see my vision, right? It might have been because it was too damn tall. But anyways, y'all, come and join me. Take a look at my Yorkie house. Yorkies of Boston, Yorkies of Boston, I go away. Yorkies of Boston, Yorkies of Boston, are you looking for that new companion? That designer puppy is your new best friend. You really wanna buy but don't know how? Don't worry, cause we finance now. We'll make it real easy, you see, with home delivery. Yorkies of Boston, fly away. Yorkies of Boston, Yorkies of Boston, fly away. Call to action, get your puppy today, fly away. Yorkies of Boston, Yorkies of Boston, fly away. Call to action, get your puppy today. So this is where the clients would come to and hang out with their young puppies. These are my parents and my studs, but um, this is an area of the house where they can come to and, um, like I said, just hang out, sit on the couch, do whatever is necessary, um, that kind of thing. And uh, so right now we're on the couch and uh, I'll show you the rest of the areas as soon as I can get these guys to get off my lap. They are like kids, I tell you. So this is where my little guys and girls hang out in the Yorkie house. Mello, where you at? Up. Come on. Come on. He likes to not listen. And they're in the cage. They love these little water bottles here. They mess with them even when they don't want to drink water. They're just, they're just meddling. They like them. Um, so anyway, they like that. They like their water bottles. Um, this is where they sleep sometimes. Just sometimes, okay? Um, come here, Dot. Dot, come here. Good boy, get up. You stay there for me. My mellow, up. Good boy. They have their own cow. They also hang out on this couch as well. But this is where the clients come to. They have a place to sit, you know, fresh water, hang out with the pups for a while. That way they're not making an impulsive decision. Um, most of the time there are puppies that are out here. Sometimes they'll want to see the parents as well. Um, but yeah, so it's not just for the clients, you know, the, the puppies get to hang out too. Very bad. You are. You mean very bad. I thought you were the shy one, I guess.
Really? Me. And so we are at Central Texas Veterinary Emergency Hospital and they have saved my baby. She is coming home. So I'm going in to pick her up and we're gonna take her home um, after being told to euthanize her and that even, you know, leaving her here that she would not make it. She has made it. So we are excited and I'm going inside to get her and we'll be back. They're getting her, so not quite ready yet, but she coming. Not ready, not quite yet ready, but we can we can practice <laughs> to see uh <laughs> how y'all doing? <laughs> we wait on Miss Carla to get discharged from the hospital. Then I do me a favor and go get that bag. I've got a bag that goes around my uh around my, my shoulder, you know, because uh, we got to celebrate. I need both my hands. I need both my hands for for my little baby. So we checked out now, got this big old bill, and uh, they're going to get Miss Perla, and we're going to get to see her not be in the hospital finally. We've gone, and y'all have been great. Y'all have followed. We've come back and forth over here to see her time and time again. And now we're gonna get to see her without all them tubes and everything hooked up to her. Cause she coming home. So yes, I'm so, 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 so excited. Oh, oh yeah, I'm excited. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay guys. <laughs> Yes, here you go. Oh, uh, I think so. Yes, just go ahead and go. I can always, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, that, yes, yeah, she's back and healthy. Yes, she is. Okay. 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 You seem to amaze me, sugar. And they said my baby was not gonna come home. My baby was not gonna make it. Y'all don't understand. Like, oh, hey, honey, hey, honey. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. You gotta get the side view and the back view. <laughs> Namara, you lie. You lie, honey. She a little shivering a little bit, but yeah. So just to recap, y'all. Um, Perla and brother got sick. Brother did not make it. Um, this is their second vet. And I didn't get to bring the brother here, but I brought Perla here. So she's been here now. Today makes a week. So she's been hospitalized for a week. Um, and she gets to come home after being told that she may not come home, after being told that I probably should euthanize her. So I'm so, so, so glad that I did it. And she fought and she fought hard and she fought the good fight and my baby is coming home. She looked a little chopped up, you know, hair cut all off her um, legs and stuff because she had the IVs and the catheters and any other tubing that you could possibly think of but she's alive thank god and i'm so so grateful for central texas veterinarian specialty clinic y'all so that's my baby this is my baby like this is my baby this is my baby i'm so happy so 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 happy little perla this is my little miracle baby right here perla 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 is it perla 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 He's not giving up. No, sir, no, ma'am. Thank <laughs> you.
guys, we going home. We get to go home after a long, long, long week and a long fight. We get to go home. So, see you later. being very very bad you are being very bad you are you're being very bad i thought you were the shy one i guess really Used to spend my nights down in the barroom. Liquor was the only love I'll ever know. But you rescued me from reaching from the bottom and brought me back from being too far gone. You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. And honey, I stay stoned.